Good evening everyone. Uh, I've just bought myself my first tablet in years. So uh, I'm looking forward to trying this. It's the Nokia T20 and it only cost £179. Um, and for that you get quite some nice spec. Uh, you get 2K resolution, uh, 8,200 milliamp battery, which is more than the uh, 7,700, I think it is, on the uh, P11 Plus on the uh, Lenovo. I don't know what the Samsung is, but uh, I wanted to avoid getting an iPad or a Samsung because... They're both such mediocre products with uh, with their incremental upgrades and charging you the earth to have one. Or else you get a so-called budget one, which is cut down to uh, below the kind of specs that you'll see here. So, for the same price. Uh, it's got stereo speakers, um, not quad speakers but it was only £179, remember. Um, and, uh, oh, oh, look, it's got bezels. What am I going to do? I might, I might become ill or something because it's got bezels on it. Oh my God, who cares? <laughs> only tech journalists um, and ridiculous forum users are even bothered about bezels, let me tell you. Um... <clears throat> I had a bit of a shaky start because um, before it was installing the system update when you first install it it gets stuck um, on the not the optimizing apps bit it said uh, what does it say downloading and installing updates it got to the end in downloading and uh, I let it let the screen turn off um, and left it and over an hour later I came back and it was still in exactly the same place and I thought okay for just 392 megabytes of updates that's not normal um, I think what you need to do is keep tapping the screen to keep it awake and uh, that seems to be the way to uh, to get it to install which is not brilliant but uh, anyway just a shaky start we'll see what happens it's an IPS screen it's not uh, OLED you're going to be paying 500 to 700 quid for an OLED screen from anyone um, including Lenovo um the processor's got in. I don't even know what the processor... I can't remember what it's called. It's some weird name that I've not even heard of. I don't think it's a MediaTek one. And it's definitely not a Qualcomm one. <laughs> you know that much. Um, so I'll have to see how that goes. It's 1.8 gigahertz. Um, which is below the two points... I think 2.2 gigahertz that you get on the uh, Lenovo P11. Um, I did look at the M20, but that was like that's like five years out of date for uh, for running anything current on that. Um, it's only got two gigabytes of RAM as well. But this one has four gigabytes of RAM, uh, so it should be should be enough to push it along. Um, my use for this tablet is not going to evolve, so I know exactly what I want it for already, and that's not going to change. I want to see some films, maybe, big screen, but most of all I want to see my phone games on the big screen, and that's why I got this. Um, I know you can do that uh, on a PC, but uh, that's way too much faff for my liking. And a lot of the time they don't even work anyways um, when you set it up through something like Bluestacks. 
Um, feel free to suggest other programs to me, but uh, I still can't be bothered with the faff. <laughs> so um, I just wanted an Android tablet. So that's what I got. So we'll see how this goes. And uh, I shall report back as to the performance of it, how fast it is. Um, it's an IPS screen, so you're, you're going to uh, get some fading. I think um, either the Argos site or the Nokia site itself says, um, it actually says something like, um, incredible viewing angles, even from the side. Well, that's not actually true. Oh, it's restarting now. Um, when it's IPS, you're always going to uh, going to bit get a bit of a problem. Okay, it's installing its second update now and uh, <clears throat> optimizing the apps. Quite what apps I'm not entirely sure because I haven't actually installed anything on it yet. I haven't set up my Google account. I'm guessing those are the pre-installed apps. <clears throat> Most of which will be coming off. There's going to be stuff like Netflix and Amazon stuff, which, <clears throat> my God, nothing Amazon is staying on any electronical, electronic device that I own. So, that being said, I will uh, give this a try tonight and uh, I will let you know how it performs in the morning. So, thank you very much for watching my, uh, my slightly messy, chaotic video. I know I misspoke a couple of times, that's because I'm very tired. Been up since six in the morning. And it's now 20 to 8, so I'll be settling down in bed with my tablet <clears throat> and uh, playing some nice happy games to relax. And then another early start for uh, my new job. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.